Hello, it's Rafael Gutierrez, and today I'm going to talk about something called Lefort's fractures, and these are actually three types of fractures. One of them actually is when someone takes a direct blow uh, to the lower area, and the what's called the alveolar process breaks off. It's this area here, and so the teeth come off. The other type is to type two, and then that the maxilla, this bone right here, gets broken off, usually from a direct blow too. The other one is a type 3, and that's the zygomatic bone, the maxilla, all come off. And so half the, half the face uh, is actually broken off, and I'll show you how that works. But before I do that, I actually want to take a look at an app that I found, which I thought was pretty interesting. It's called Punch Power. And what it does is it just measures the force of your punch. I don't know exactly how it works. I figure it probably uses an accelerometer and uh, you, it does ask for your body weight, so it probably uses your accelerometer, calculates how much uh, force is in a typical, uh, uh, how much weight is in a typical arm or fist, and ca calculates the amount of force you would technically produce. There are probably certain things that are going to be off. Um, I've actually noticed that sometimes my, uh, when depending on how my phone battery is, sometimes it gives me a lot lower readings and uh, more chaotic. Sometimes when it's really when it's actually pretty good, it tends to give me pretty pretty much standard readings on every punch I did. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to do three punches. I'm going to use a different recording device because it's on my cell phone and that's what I usually use to record. Uh, and what I am going to ask is I really hope that some of you will, might use this program. Uh, show, you know, throw a punch, show a video on how much force you're actually uh, producing. Uh, the reason I would love to see the numbers instead of just, oh yeah, you know, I did 4,000 pounds of pressure or 4,000 newtons of force, is if you show it to us, I can actually, we can confirm it. It's like, oh wow, this person is punching at 4,000 newtons of force. I have already done a little bit of uh, research just to see what happened, and it seems that it's at least consistent. What I mean is, uh, I actually, I've had a range which ranged from 2,000 usually uh, to my highest was 4,000, and I've only been able to do that one time. Uh, usually it's about 2,500 to 3,000 newtons of force. Uh, I had a student who was uh, she's in third grade, I think. So she's going into third grade, so I think she weighs six, about 60 pounds, and she was able to get 1,500. I have a fifth grader who weighs about 90 pounds. He was able to get 2,000 newtons of force, pretty consistent. Uh, I took it to my a couple of the college classes. I had a couple of people in my anatomy class use it. And I found that most people with no training were punching at about a thousand newtons of force. Adults, uh, I had I think I, I had one guy who has trained who uh, is actually big, and he ended up with three thousand newtons of force, uh, was about his average. Uh, has a little bit of training, not extensive, uh, but his body mass was was big enough that you, I would figure he would be punching harder than most people. And so I am seeing at least a correlation. I hope you enjoy the the video of the uh, Lefort's fractures and uh, like I said first I'm going to show you how I saw the this app please again post show us how hard you're punching you know it, I figure I'm uh, over 40 uh, slightly I like to say at least slightly overweight professor I know some of you who watch are actually professional fighters uh, so I would love to see what a pro how a professional fighters uh, numbers match up on the uh, on this force meter, especially as if we're using the same force meter, I guess the phones might be a little different and different, you know, different at different uh, different uh, conditions may actually apply. But at least you know I can see how hard people can hit uh, who are actually doing this professionally. Uh, well, thank you for your time, and I hope you enjoy the video. I am using this uh, app called Punch Force. Uh, I figure it's it's a nice thing to use because it's. It actually gives us a calculation. Uh, when you hit a makiwara, you know you're hitting it hard, but you don't know how hard. You can tell by the sound, but there's really no, nothing that calculates how hard you hit. This app, what's nice is when you come in, it has a place for you to put in your weight. And so uh, it pretty. I'm assuming it has a little better calculations than G-force and measuring. They probably do the average weight of the hand uh, per weight and uh, look at the acceleration, the peak acceleration you're getting. 
So what it gives you is it gives you something called peak force. Uh, the nice thing about peak force is that's actually is a better determination of uh, damage versus total force. Uh, the thing is, if you take uh, pushing something, you can end up having a lot of force, but very, but you have the force spread over time, and so it's not as it's not as damaging. Well, you can have some which has the same force, but it's all transferred all at once, and you have other types of damage. Uh, example I would give is if you think of a thousand kilogram car going at 0.1 mile per hour. If that hits you and there's nothing behind you, you'll pro it'll probably just push you. While if you get hit by a 90 mile per hour fastball, uh, it will probably not move you much, but it will probably cause damage. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do three different punches, see which one I get better results. And so the first one I'm going to do is from Naihanchi. So here, uh, I only got uh, 2,820. Uh, try again, I'll do the uh, reverse punch that everyone loves. So here, just 2,363. And for the last one, I guess just regular uh, straight punch. So here, again, it's only 2,100. Now, the reason I say only is I've had some of the, my students use this. I took uh, some of my students who were uh, college students with no training whatsoever, and they were getting about 1,000 newtons of force. I had one little girl who's nine. Uh, she's been training for about a year, and she was able to develop 1,500 newtons of force. Uh, again, it calculates a weight. I've had, I had one student with no training who was huge, and he was able to get... 3,000, which is about what I was getting max. Uh, then, and then there was another uh, college girl that I had I used, and she was getting able to get a thousand two hundred. So one of the things that I actually found is sometimes I, I guess little kids can actually develop the power that an, a power that an untrained adult would have. Uh, like I said, I had one other kid who was uh, ten, but he was huge, and uh, he was able to get two thousand newtons of force. Told him he wasn't allowed to get in fights after that. Uh, but the thing is, you, someone like me, I'm getting uh, 2,000, uh, pretty much overweight, uh, low activity, active professor is getting about 2,000 newtons of force. On average, I've peaked at uh, just over 3,000. Uh, actually, I think I peaked at one point I did 4,000, but that was, I don't know if I believe that. Uh, I don't know if, I have noticed that there's a variation, uh, a little bit more variation if your phone is fully charged versus low charge. Uh, and I figure it may have there may be different differences in uh, force produced by phone when you uh, use different phones. But the nice thing about this program, I feel, is it gives us a uh, it gives us something that we can measure now. We can actually measure each other's punches and see how much force we develop, and see if there's a better way to do it. The nice thing is we could also start doing a lot of a lot of work trying to see which develops more force. I figure as long as it's not maybe not accurate, but as long as it's consistent, me, what I mean is it's like if I'm punching at a certain time and it's always consistently one, one number, or someone else is punching and it's consistently, we can see what their numbers are. Now the nice thing is we can also now talk about how much force a human, uh, average a male, or an average person with no training, can produce versus a child with um, some training. Like I said, some of these kids were actually punching. Actually, there was one. Uh, 10 year old he's in he's going into fifth grade now he was producing 500 newtons of force less than me uh, he was a lot he's a lot lighter than me still but tall but still lighter and so one of the things that we can do is see if these uh, these numbers match up uh, I really would love to see uh, I know that a lot of you are probably going to have much stronger punches than I do please you know I, I kind of want to see how high people can actually punch if you don't mind uh, make a video, put it on YouTube, and share it with us so we can actually see how, how hard people can actually punch. Well, thank you for your time, and I hope you enjoy this uh, Laforge fracture. Uh, I'm going to talk about Laforge fractures. It was, it was one of the uh, people who has seen my videos uh, suggested I do it. Uh, Laforge fractures, there's actually three, three parts. Now, one thing you'll notice is you have the sinus here where you have the uh, teeth. Now, Type 1 Laforte's fracture could be could occur if someone takes a hit here, and this part breaks off, and so the teeth end up floating. 
before it's type 2, you can see the suture marks here coming down here. And so with the blow, this entire portion of the face can come off. That's the suture here. Type 3 is actually a lot harder. You actually will have fracture up here, but it's going to continue to this area here. And so the lower portion of the face will actually come completely off. And uh, each one will require some sort of surgery or uh, intervention to help support the uh, face. And it does take a lot of force, uh, actually not as much as you, most people want. The other fracture that can happen is individually the zygomatic bone fractures. And that has happened in a couple uh, MMA fights, which I will put, I have put links on, you can see. Thank you.